I heard you say, obviously, if somebody has, if they're dysregulated, um, do you do, um, while you're not a, a medical provider, do you do a medical intake? Is that part of uh, your assessment? Yeah, so we, we have what's called an adaptive PARQ. And so PARQ stands for Physical Activity Questionnaire Readiness. And so this is a standard assessment that's used in the personal training fitness industry, but we've created our own because the standard assessment doesn't check for a lot of things that we need to look for. So we created our own. So the standard PARQ is about 10 questions. Ours is about 20 or 25. And so we have very, very strict criteria that we look for. And based on how people answer these questions, we'll determine, do they need a, a doctor's release to work out first? Okay. And statistically, 5% uh, or less of people need a doctor's release to work out. Most people are already eligible to work out. And, uh, but for those 5%, maybe somebody is still having seizures, for example, they're probably gonna need a doctor's release. So the last thing we would wanna do in a workout program is, get, you know, for example, maybe we have them stand up and down really fast. That what if that triggers a seizure, right? We, we might not know that unless a doctor tells us because we don't do scans of the brain and we're not neurologists, okay? So we need somebody else to tell us that. So that's an example of why we do the PARQ. Okay, and so is it, is it just for students, obviously the space that I, you know, work with kiddos to 22, or is it for anybody who has adaptive needs? Yeah, that's a really good question. So uh, the youngest athlete we've ever served, I believe was six. And typically we start at eight, but we have served a six year old child and that was very successful. And then the oldest athlete we've ever serviced was 92. And we actually serviced him inside of his nursing home. We trained him for three times a week. He had dementia. And um, it's interesting because every time the trainer would come into the session, the trainer would have to remind this person with dementia that their name and the exercises because literally dementia, he just he literally forgot every time he came in. But these services helped him live an abundant life. And even though he couldn't remember a whole lot, he knew it, he, he didn't forget how it made him feel, which is so cool. He knew that it made him feel better. And so our oldest was 92. And so we really have that range of six to 92. And uh, again, if they, as long as they pass that medical questionnaire, we can service them. We've got a great model and uh, we've used it on, we've serviced over now over 10,000 uh, athletes. Uh, we've imp not serviced, but impacted over 10,000 athletes uh, not, personally through our services and through our certification program. Never had an injury that I know of that's been reported. So, um, so yeah, to answer your question, six to 92, 93, maybe, but 92 is that special number, you know, so. <laughs> okay, 